How's it going everyone? My name is Jinjium and welcome back to some Forza Motorsport 6 for another sleeper build. It's been kind of a while. Now this 1965 Mini Cooper S is making a whopping 75 horsepower, 80 foot-pounds of torque, and it, what? It only weighs 1,480 pounds. So, it is definitely lighter than my Miata, um, but it is front-wheel drive right now. We'll change that. We'll do some other things. But it's a pretty good chassis because it's so small. It's incredibly small. It's mini. <laughs> the question is, what kind of engine can we fit in here? Like, maybe a four, four rotor? That would be pretty cool. Uh, oh, two liter I4 VVT. That's the Honda engine. Well, I know it can make like 700, so I won't complain too much. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and throw on a turbocharger because it makes so much more power. 37 versus 96, that's a huge difference. We'll have a little bit lag, but you know, whatever. Uh, also, I think I'm going to make this all-wheel drive. Let's see. Yeah, all-wheel drive is only 100 pounds heavier than rear-wheel drive, so we might as well. We're obviously gonna fully upgrade the engine, so let's uh, do that. All right, we are now making 719 horsepower, 469 foot-pounds of torque, which sucks, and we weigh 1,927 pounds, so we've added lots of power and a decent amount of weight. Um, it's crazy, we're already in S-Class. Anyway, let us continue. Platform and handling, we are going to get rid of all the weight, which is actually 222 pounds. 222 pounds is pretty dang good, considering this car only weighed, weighed like 1,600 at the start. Now, roll cage actually seems to help quite a bit, and it only weighs 65 pounds, so I'm, not, I'm gonna throw that in there. Uh, Anti-roll bars, yes. Get rid of some weight. Not too much, but three pounds. Whoa. Coils, just so we can tune it. Oh my god, this thing's so... <laughs> it looks so weird. Uh, brakes, because they are lights. Cool. Now, uh, after this, we want to fully upgrade the drivetrain. And here comes the important part. We're gonna go ahead and throw on dr <sighs> We're in R-Class? Are you serious? An R-Class Mini Cooper from 1965? All right, well, we're gonna throw on the drag slicks, and we're gonna make the tires as big as possible, and we'll be incredibly fast. However, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat other R class cars. We'll see though. Then, towards the end of the video, we'll de upgrade ourselves to S class and see if we can beat some S class cars. Uh, for now, let's get some classic looking rims that are light. So, I'm thinking like a Luma Star 2.0 drag race. I mean, we're drag racing, so we gotta have drag race wheel. I, what? <laughs> <laughs> and the car is done. Final numbers, 719 horsepower, 469 foot-pounds of torque, and weighing in at 1,744 pounds. With an acceleration of 10 and a speed of 6.6, .6, so pretty awesome. I know what I want this car to look like, but I'm wondering if they have a thing. Oh, yes, yes they do. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's like a really sparkling green too. Well, Moog. I hope we made you proud. That's all I can say. It's pronounced Moog, right? Moog? Moog? Yeah. Moog. All right, it is now time to tune this little beast. We're going to lower the tire pressure all around. Give us more traction. Now, gearing, I think I'm gonna make quite a bit shorter. We'll see. No, no, it's, it's making it slower. No, I definitely did not like that, so I'm gonna undo that. Now we're gonna get rid of the camber all around. Pretty simple, just wanna get more grip. Differential, both already locked. Let's make it 70% rear. No, that made us slower. All right, let's not do that. Cool, we pretty much changed nothing besides camber and uh, tire pressure, and it still didn't change anything numbers-wise, so. Oh well, we've got a zero to 60 time of 2.3 and a zero to 100 of 5.1. All right, here we are. <laughs> Just the wheels look so tiny on this thing. You know, this actually might be a pretty good wheelie car. We'll try that later, but all right, let's have a listen. Ooh, that blow valve, though. It sounds pretty good. Definitely doesn't sound like an old Mini, but... It definitely sounds nice. Sounds like VTAC, am I right? All right, red line. Oh, my God. Oh, my... The gearing is really short. Let's try this again. <sighs> it 
It's fast, that's for sure. Oh my god, it launches so well. Because it's got so much power, all-wheel drive, and it weighs like nothing. La -dee -da -da. <laughs> this thing is insane. <gasps> Holy shit. Across the quarter mile at 167 miles per hour. That was about what it was. I, that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's go ahead, take it online, see what times it can run, and then face some of you guys. All right. The launch is insane in this thing. Oh, I missed the gear. And even with that, we still ran 8.6. All right, 8.3, that's what I want. Launch was a little less good. Worse, not less good. Did not miss a gear though. Ooh, 8.4, okay. The launch is actually hard. You, just, you, got, like, you accelerate so quickly, it's hard to control, but 8 point, what? All right, I'm just gonna redline it. And, mm, nope, see? See, redlining is not good, all right? Shush. All right, come on. Good launch, but the second, the third gear change was not good. Come on. Ugh, we're getting worse. All right, we've got lots of cars, a lot of fast cars, and I'm off! I'm in first! Oh, we can look! No, the Camaro's pulling! Oh, God! No, he won! No, wait, I won! <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> that was the best race I think I've ever had. First place, 8.542. Second place, 8.542. Third place, 8.843. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god, that was close. Hey, I, I was first though. Alright. Oh god, ah! Uh, I could not control that launch. <laughs> Shit. I still pull in the Camaro. Oh, actually, I think something's gone wrong with the Camaro. Oh, rip, third place. Alright, let's hopefully control launch. Oh, alright, I pull in the Camaro just barely. What about the other Camaro? No! Oh, he definitely won that one. Fair and square. 300th of a second, though. Alright, let's do this and go! Oh, God! <laughs> I can't, I can't control it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, we've got a Charger, a Porsche, another Mini Cooper, and a Corvette! Oh, I'm so oh, I can't control it! And I still came second. Oh, if I can get a good launch and not crash, I'll get first. Also, they definitely changed the way drag races load. We have less time to like prepare ourselves. All right, that was kind of good. Nothing in sight. Yes, yes, first place, woohoo! <laughs> All right, too many damn things to run into. That's my excuse. That was a good launch, straight. However, my shifting was not on point. 8.5, all right, not too bad. So yeah, I mean, I think what, we did we run an 8.3? I don't know, I was too hyped to check. Uh, but we might have. I think it's time to put it into S-Class and see how it does then. We're gonna make the tires as small as they possibly can go. And then I will re-upgrade some stuff. I think I'll get like the middle turbo because that's what I got rid of. Oh, perfect, 799. Nice. Okay, now we're making 670 horsepower and we still have a decent amount of grip. So cool, I think that's a good happy medium, good compromise. I'm not gonna tune it, let's just, let's race. All right, we've got a Audi, a sleeper and a Hellcat. S-Class, go. Oh God, we know the sleeper, no, the other sleeper's gone now. <laughs> I just got beat by another sleeper. Oh, and the other sleep, I just, oh, that was bad. But it's still running 8.7. All right, come on. 
I feel like I'm like equal to these other sleepers on the launch, but I'm guessing they should have more power. Like 670 horsepower is not enough. Last chance. All right. <laughs> I got second. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of cars, a lot of fast cars. This is gonna be hard. Oh my god, a Mustang's doing a wheelie. That's the most dangerous thing on the world. And a whole... What the hell? I just got... Just... Oh! oh, the Reno almost just destroyed me. But I got destroyed by everything else, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Again, I launched pretty well, but I just didn't have enough power. Oh, that was a good launch. Me in the Mustang. Oh! So close! 8.7. I think that was our best time in S-Class so far. I just want to beat that Mustang. I, just, I have to hope that he crashes into a wall. Oh, he, he kind of did. Yes! Oh, no, but now the Renault's beating me? What? Uh, eh, I beat the Mustang by 300th of a second. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for today. The Mini Cooper was, it was pretty good. Like, it, uh, I ran low to mid eights, fully upgraded, which is pretty dang good. However, there are definitely cars that are faster than it, especially some other sleeper cars. I'm telling you, sleeper cars in this game just rule it. Like, they beat everything. Crazy, but yeah, it was a fun car. It looks cool, and it's a sleeper for sure. You don't expect this thing to have... 700 horsepower as always guys make sure to like and subscribe it really really does help me out if you want to be even cooler you can check out my instagram my snapchat or my twitter and eh, do those things say hi i should say hi back but anyway guys thank you so much for watching have a great day and peace oh yeah it's very grippy oh it's weird Interesting, okay.